Hi guys, Miss Scarlet Tanager here, and yesterday I did the slideshow and video vlog, and now we're going to do the actual haul and talking about the PAX Times vlog. So let's get started, and I'll show you some of the things that I got at PAX, and maybe talk about some of the people that I met at PAX, etc., etc., etc. Okay, what do we got here? First thing, let's start with something that's awesome. I got some earrings. No, that's not a ring or a wedding ring or anything. They are gray warden symbol silver plated earrings. I didn't get the actual... Eh, it's kind of blurry in the webcam. There we go. I didn't get the actual solid silver ones because they cost $40 and the silver plated ones were only $25 and I'm cheap. But expect to see these in some videos soon, especially some uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. By the way, they announced the last DLC. It's going to be Dragon Age Inquisition Trespasser. I've got the Descent downloaded, installed, and readied. I'm probably going to record some of that after this one. So, we're going to have some fun times. We need to play the second one, too. Maybe after Mass Effect. And speaking of that, yes, I got a whole bunch of Inquisition stuff. We've got some buttons. These buttons are the player character. You got Cole, Iron Bull, Vivienne, and Varric, my husband, who is not my husband because he's not a romance option. We've also got Cassandra, Sarah, who is my actual girlfriend in the game. Actual girlfriend. Dorian, Solus, that traitorous bastard. And Blackwall, who is not actually Blackwall. I mean, what? Go watch my Let's Play. You'll figure out what I mean. We've got a nice pin here, Dragon Age Grey Warden symbol. Now my plan with all of these pins is that I'm going to, oh, and by the way, here's the last one. That one is the limited edition blackened Inquisition symbol. But I'm going to take all these pins and I'm going to make a big backdrop, so you always see my bed in the back of videos and that always feels weird to me. But I'm going to try and make a, it's going to take a while, but I'm going to try and make a big cloth backdrop, probably out of some of like the linen or wool that I have and I'm going to put all of my pins in it and we're going to hang it behind me so you guys don't have to see my unmade bed Let's see what else do I got here I got that, I should do that, oh right we got ourselves a nug yes I know I already had of a nug but this nug is special it is one of the 200 run limited edition gold nugs and also it squeaks too And for those who don't know, I brought my harp to PAX. I brought Clara, she's sitting over there. And I played Dawn Will Come for some of the developers. And they surprised me by giving me this. It was a gigantic, like, five pound volume two lore book of the World of Thetis volume two. I guess that means I need to go buy volume one, but <laughs> I don't have it just yet. This thing's got everything. It's got the, de the decline of the MLs. There's an entire thing on Bethany Hawk. There's Beyond Thetis, Navara, the Kuzlins! We are a Kuzland. Red Cliff. Um, lots of fun art pictures. Hey, look, it's art. It's not the art book, though. Any other cool pictures in here? Hey, look, more art! <laughs> yeah, I got this, and it's cool. I'm gonna spend a lot of time reading through that for the lols. And another things that I got... I got these. For those who don't know, I actually already had the Normandy. I think I have the Alliance Cruiser already, but I won this one, and I need to give myself a new Normandy because I messed up putting it together. So, yeah. Oops. <laughs> they also gave away some cool little things, like this looks like some kind of, I don't know, cloth decal or sticker or something of the Grey Warden's, like, shield symbol, which is really cool. For some reason, there's an electronic art sticker there. Don't like them as much. I've got a tarot card printout of the Assassin. It says, Argent was named for the older Legion word for Quicksilver. She is swift, dead, swift, strong, and deadly, trained for birth to be a weapon. Argent has served many masters, sometimes as a bodyguard, often as an assassin. Passed from noble to noble, she is bought and sold like a prized sword. The fact, a fact that does not bother her. A weapon has no loyalty. It serves whoever wields it. Now the Inquisition wields Argent. I also... This game looks interesting. I want to play this one, Through the Woods. I saw it there, and I talked to Patrick Static about it a little bit, because he's played the demo. And we also got some signed things now. This one is cool. It's got a whole bunch of signatures on it on the Inquisition Trespasser side. This one, however... Two people signed the Inquisition side, and two people signed the Mass Effect side. 
I don't know which way to hang it on the wall. And just like my little fatal frame pictures over here, I went to the booth and got another picture. This time, it's me with Clara, the harp. I figured that would be, you know, kind of a cool one to take. So here we've got some more random pieces from random games that look cool. We got some extra credits, swag. I got Pokemon iron on badge thingy. Got some buttons. Aha! Now I got some of the Pax Polaris pins. They're over there on my actual badge. I also got these. Pokemonster Hunter from the Polaris booth. I don't actually know what this is from. It's something to do with the Game Grumps. I actually have. I've never seen a Game Grumps video. I really don't know who they are. Whoop. Now, as for things that happened at PAX, I met a lot of people. I got to meet and hang out a little bit with Markiplier. I hung out a lot with Molly and Wade and. I kind of met PewDiePie. I was more like, oh, hey, look, it's PewDiePie. I'm going to go do my own thing. Because that's how I feel. I, just because somebody's got all of these subscribers doesn't mean they're any more important or any more amazing than anybody else. They're just people. Like, Markiplier and PewDiePie, Wade, Molly, they're just people. They're the same as the people you see walking down the street. They just happen to have a large subscriber base on YouTube. Let's see here. We've got another poster. I've got three posters here. Yeah. <sighs> This one is Lore Animate. They look cool. I think I'm going to have to check them out. I have their poster also from Polaris. Because for those who don't know, I managed to get myself a wristband for the Polaris Lounge. So I was hanging out in there for quite a long time for Con. I spent most of my time either in the Bioware base, talking to the developers there, or in the Polaris Lounge to hang out with Molly and if you watch the slideshow video, <laughs> causing a lot of Jenga towers to fall. Now this poster, this is the one I might actually have to find a place for on my wall, because, boom, Dragon Age Inquisition poster. Oh, yeah, it's got the name of the, <laughs> starring the Inquisitor, Cassandra Blackwell, Dorian Vivian, Cole, Sarah Solis, Varric, and Iron Bull, co-starring Josephine Liliana, Cullen, Morgan Harding, Dagnana. <laughs> I didn't notice that that's what they put on there. But I got myself an Inquisition poster. Actually, I was given that during the cosplay show where I wore my Yuna costume. But there's not. There's two more things that I forgot to bring over from my uh, area that is not my current desk area. So let's go see if we can grab those. And I'll show them to you. Now you guys know my love of scarfs. I've got an N7 scarf. I've got a whole bunch of other scarfs, and I wear a lot of scarfs. We got more scarfs! This is the Grey Warden scarf. The really, really nice, lovely blue and white one. And the one next to it is the Inquisitor scarf. Both Dragon Age things, because you know I'm obsessed with them. They had a fashion show. Also over there. They had a fashion show at PAX this year where they demoed a whole bunch of mostly ladies' apparel since they didn't have a lot of actual ladies' apparel on their site. They had dresses and leggings and girls' t-shirts and Tully designs and Morgan designs and shepherd leggings. I'm going to run out of a lot of money. And I'm going to end up with the nerdiest wardrobe ever and it's going to be great. You guys are going to see a lot of nerdy clothes pretty soon. Though those aren't going to ship until the endish of September and I'm not going to be able to get them all at the same time because I'm s still poor and budgeting and saving the hell out of everything in order to save enough money to get all those things because I want to okay now about the actual con I had a lot of fun I met all kinds of people like I already said I met Markiplier I met Wade and Molly and Patrick Static and my skirm Bob um, I met Jap Jack Septicai. I got to hang out with him a lot. I do remember one part. We were going behind the stage in the Benaroya Hall, and we were walking down the hallway, and everybody was slapping the overhanging thing because there's these low hanging beams, and everybody was slapping them. Behind me, I heard Jack say, Now try and hit it with your head. And just because that's my personality, I stopped, looked up, and jumped and tried to smack my head into one of the beams. I missed, but then I heard him yell, I didn't mean it! I didn't want you to actually do it! But there's one story from PAX. If you want to see some more, watch my slideshow video. I've got some cool videos in there and a whole bunch of pictures. 
The con itself was amazing. It was probably my favorite packs I've ever gone to, and I want to say a huge thank you to Wade and Molly for helping me out. They're the ones who got me my special guest pass and were able to get me into the Polaris Lounge, and I'm going to put their links and a couple other links in the description so you guys can go and follow them and follow their YouTubes if you don't already. And what else? What else? Aha! I do remember when I was in the Bioware base, they had a uh, trivia contest, and I really, really wanted to get the collector's edition of Dragon Age Inquisition. They had it there with the tarot cards, with the little pieces and all of it. I didn't end up winning that. I won the compilation of all of the comics from Dragon Age. But somebody came by just before they stopped, finished the uh, trivia contest and said that they hadn't gotten a prize. They'd answered a question, but the devs had forgotten to give them anything. So I just was standing there at the book, and I looked at the devs, and I looked at her, and I handed her my prize, so I don't have that anymore. I did it just because, you know, she should have gotten a prize, and they didn't really have anything left at that point, so I just gave her my prize. And, yeah. That was PAX. So many fun times at PAX. Seriously, watch the slideshow video. There are so many fun times to be had, especially with Jenga. There was a lot of Jenga. Oh, right, I also met uh, Swing... Swing Pont? Mike. He's another YouTuber, and Entwin and DLive. Entwin scared the crap out of me at one point because I was taking pictures of a statue, and I didn't know he was there, and I stopped, and I turned, and his face was right next to me, and I went, ah! But that was that. I met a lot of cool people. I'm going to try to go to PAX South. I'm going to try and raise funds on Twitch or wherever else so I can pay for the plane ticket to go to South. This September, I'm going to be participating in Mindthon for Able Gamers, and we're going to have the regularly scheduled charity stream, so this month's going to be so busy! Oh boy. Well, guys, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and this has been my past vlog. I'll see you all in the next video.